Neptune's largest moon is called <laughs> The only thing I really know about Neptune is that it's kind of interesting from a, from a science point of view in the way it was discovered, in that it was the first planet that was actually predicted. You know, there were, what happened was people looked at the orbit of Uranus, which is the one that's sort of inside from Neptune in the solar system, and found that the orbit was, wasn't quite what was expected. You know, the, the planet sort of wobbled a bit on its orbit from time to time. And so the, the obvious explanation for this was that something was causing it to wobble, something else was gravitating, was pulling it. And so there were some calculations done um, and that actually predicted where Neptune should be found on the basis of the fact that it was clearly distorting Uranus's orbit. And indeed, when uh, astronomers went and looked in, that, uh, in the place that it had been predicted it should be found, it was actually found there. And so it's the first case where, in looking for planets, they kind of used physics to find the planet. Right. It's blue, is the short thing to say about it, and um, it's part of the reason why I think probably why it ended up being called Neptune, is because it has this sort of sea blue-like quality about it. Um, so it's, it really is very pretty, and, and it actually has some clouds on it as well, so it's, it has a little bit of sort of texture to its surface. Um, obviously you can only, you know, you only get to see the outer layers of it, uh, but the outer layers are this beautiful shade of blue. Uh, Neptune's largest moon is called Triton. And it's an interesting moon in the solar system because it's the only moon that actually orbits in the opposite direction that the planet rotates. Usually when the moons form from the planets, they all form from the same spot of gas. So uh, they're kind of spinning and then the planet forms. And so when the moons form outside of that, they're orbiting around in the same direction that the planet is spinning. Triton is different because Neptune is spinning in one direction, but the moon is actually orbiting around in the opposite direction. And it has, some, it has rings as well, another thing about Neptune, that actually a lot of planets in the solar system have rings. Uranus has a system of rings. Neptune has a system of rings, which are a little strange, because the way they were discovered is through a technique called stellar occultation, that you actually see a star pass behind the planet. And obviously what you're looking for is the star disappearing behind the planet to learn about the atmosphere of the planet. But they discovered that actually the, the star disappeared before it even got to the planet, as it disappeared behind the rings. Um, and the strange thing was, in some of these occultation experiments, they found that it disappeared on one side, but didn't disappear on the other side, which suggested that the rings were incomplete. There were actually you know, bits of rings on one side and not on the other side. Um, subsequently, when we've actually been there with these various space probes and taken a look at it, it turns out the rings do go all the way around, but they're actually quite clumpy. So there's places where there's just denser rings and less dense rings. So although you can trace them all the way around, they're not very smooth in that sense. And so obviously the, the, these occultation experiments where they disappeared, it was where it was going behind a clumpy bit of the, of the ring. And where it didn't disappear, it was one of the finer bits where there just wasn't enough material there to really obscure the star. So this gives us a hint as to how the moon was possibly formed. It probably wasn't formed at the same time that, that Neptune was formed. It was probably some object in the solar system that was passing by Neptune, and Neptune actually gravitationally captured it, and so it got stuck in this orbit in the opposite direction. The, the, probably the best known moon of Neptune is Triton. Triton was discovered by an amateur astronomer from the UK, and most likely because of beer. This amateur astronomer owned a brewery in the UK, and so he made a fortune off of that, and that went to fund his telescopes. So he used one of his telescopes to look at Neptune only 17 days after Neptune was actually discovered, and he found this moon, Triton. Uh, the most of the other moons were only discovered much later, and in fact some of them were only discovered when the Voyager probe flew by and found some of the smaller moons.